Hello, it's Sarah. And today I want to share my pin cushion I made. Um, I was inspired by a video I saw. Uh, Anna Lanez, I think her name is, on YouTube. And it was actually a room share, uh, or her craft room she was showing. And she just had everything displayed so nicely. And it just kind of inspired me to to make something to display my stuff with too. I did have, this is my pin cushion I made. I did make this out of a, a cup. I think I got this at like Christmas tree shops or something. So I did have some of them in there, but then I went over Michael's and I'm kind of looking around and seeing what I could, cause she had ones with shoes and be like all different shape things and stuff. So believe it or not, they're getting in fall stuff already at Michael's so this was oh I forget the brand name but it's like in their seasonal section and it you know of course it's spring I guess and it's a planter so it was on sale so I think it was 60% off so they had a couple they had blue pink I think like a lime green and so I thought oh I'm gonna try that that's cute that's a bike so it's cute um so actually the hardest thing about it was the pin cushion itself because I knew I wanted to keep the like cage effect so I didn't want to cover that whole thing up. Um, I ended up um, using, well let me first let me tell you, I used pink satin I guess it is, just the cheapest one from um, Joann's and then on top of that I put, it's just a white lace so it's like double and once I got it all stuffed, the satin, which that's the hardest part, um, I wrapped it in the lace and that was a little easier because it was already sealed. And I used a rubber band on the bottom of that. And um, once it was nice and tight and snug around it, I kind of pulled it, around, pulled it out and snipped around it and hot glued it down so that it was kind of flat on the bottom. And then when I stuck it in here, I just stuck it with hot glue right to this. Oh, see the hot glue is kind of leaked out. But I just put, um, before I did that actually, I put this lace. This is um, a trim. I think it's at the dollar bin. At um, AC Moore has this at, in the dollar bin. So I think I got it there. But it's about, it's at least three inches or something, let's say. Yeah, it's like three inches. So it's a nice wide trim. And I figured, let me try and see if this will go around the bottom. So I actually glued this around the bottom inside. I just took my glue gun and went inside. So this is what you see here. That's kind of, because I wanted to hide it if it looked yucky. So that's what this is. And you can see that like the top of it comes out in some places. But then I glued this one, this little pearl, I mean pearl, pink trim with hearts. Where is it? I had it. Here it is. So I had this again from the dollar bin. It's uh, just pink, white actually, with pink hearts. Put that around the top to kind of hide if any of that was sticking out. And then I put the blue bling around it. And I think I got this at AC Moore too. So I put the blue bling around it. So that was pretty much all I did to make the, um, this, the pin cushion itself. And I'm pretty happy with it because it definitely doesn't look like you can't see any of the workings of it sticking out. It just looks like lace and kind of poofy sticking out. So that that was good. I was happy with that. So then um I didn't want to go crazy with embellishments cuz I wanted it to look like a bike. I love that I did we've been bike riding with my granddaughter lately and she has streamers on her bike so I knew I wanted to put something dangling. I was like ribbon at first and then I was just like, "Oh no, I'm going to put beads." So I did that. I just wrapped a little um, silk ribbon, satin ribbon, around some of the areas. This is actually more of a um, cotton ribbon that I went around this part with. And just this morning, I, I finished it yesterday, but this morning I ended up doing the tires. I just stippled like white paint around them. Um, I kind of got that from Luisa Diaz. I did it to the roses too because... Um, she said that's what makes it look shabby chic, but I kind of just wanted to paint the tires because I just didn't want to leave it white, um, blue. It looked like too much blue. So I just did it to the flowers. I only have like two, four, five flowers on here. Two, one, two, three. 
Oh, and these are just back-to-back -back roses, and then I just put like four little ones on top to kind of hide it. And then I just, this is actually just tied on here. It's a um, button, two buttons actually, that I just put ribbon hanging down. And I'm not sure, because I was thinking I wanted to put like, I think I thought of it after though. Like one of these I was going to glue there, but I don't know. I think I'm just going to leave it the way it is. But I could change that if I, um, if something better worked. Um, what else? So that's about it. I used buttons on the tires because Joanne's had a button sale yesterday. It was 50% off their buttons and I got these flower buttons and, but that's about it. But I like it and I'm definitely, um, happy to, to display my stick pins in here now. So of course I had to, this morning I made like a couple, um, I had this bead, they're, they're not dry yet, but this one I had for a long time and never did anything with it. So, and it's an awkward bead. So I just figured that would be good for a stick pin. And then I made a couple of teal ones that I had, uh, so that they would match and I'll stick them in there. And there's a couple of pretty pink, um, beads too. So I'm going to display them in my new bike pin cushion. So anyway, that's what I have for today. I keep getting distracted from my, um, <laughs> from my paper bag cards. I have them done pretty much, but I'm just going to keep, uh, <clears throat> I don't know. I, I keep thinking about other papers that would look good and I make more, but anyway. Um, so that's it for today, guys. I hope you liked it. Bye-bye.